Hey everyone, uh, Glenn Sanford here, founder of EXP Realty. And today I'm excited to talk to Joe Simonet. He's a five-time icon agent out of Olympia, Washington. Welcome, uh, welcome Joe. Thanks Glenn, thank you so much for uh, having me, it's an honor. So you've been in the business for, for a bit. Um, I, I do have you beat by about three years, but you've been in the business about 18, 18 years here. Uh, what's, uh, what got you into this business called real estate? What'd you do before? And, you know, why a glutton for punishment? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a great question. Um, so it's kind of funny because like, you know, 18 years, right. It seems like a long time in this business and, uh, it's gone by fast, uh, as life, life does. <laughs> Um, really what got me into the business was I was always curious about real estate when I was younger. I, I, my dad, he was a, he was a contractor, um, you know, and I've always kind of had this entrepreneurial spirit, spirit, right? So that kind of just drew me to this business, uh, before I got in the business. I mean, I was pretty young. I think it was, I think I was turning 25 when I actually got my license. But, uh, before that I, I went to college. I went to just our local community college here. And then I, I worked full time when I first got in the business uh, graveyard shift uh, at one of our local uh, grocery store chains that you probably know because you guys have it in Bellingham to Hagen. So work there. Oh, yeah. well, Hagen's based in Bellingham. Yeah. The Hagen family. Yep. 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 I worked there for since high school uh, and all the way till when I was still uh, doing my uh, associate's degree. And, uh, did did that did graveyard uh and then pursued a career in in real estate at the at the same time at the beginning uh the beginning of my career and um so yeah it was it was much different as you know glenn back then i mean there wasn't <laughs> all these fancy things we have today right i mean when i went to my first brokerage my uh my broker said okay well here's here's the yellow pages and this is how you're going to prospect this is how you uh get business so uh, that's kind of how I started in the business. So it's uh, pretty crazy how far it's come along since then. Okay. Now, now how is your, I mean, um, I assume you're not using the yellow pages anymore. How are you, how are you, uh, how are you lead generating <laughs> these days? Oh, oh, well, um, for, fortunately, yeah, I'm not using the, the yellow pages anymore, but, um, you know, we, we still do outbound prospecting, right? I, I built my business on prospecting. Uh, we, we call it an inbound and an outbound method. Um, outbound method, obviously, for sale by owners, expired, um, circle prospecting. And then also we have uh, more curated uh, data-rich lists where we can target uh, homeowners that have lived in their property for X amount of years and X neighborhood with X turnover rates um, that have certain indicators of uh, looking to sell in a certain defined timeline. So those are kind of our outbound uh, channels, inbound channels we have, which are primarily online would be obviously a cash offers funnel, um, which is PPC, Facebook based, and then our regular home buyer and seller ads um, that, that are also PPC and uh, Facebook uh, based. And then also uh, one that I think a lot of agents sleep on um, is just having a strong Google profile, right? With lots of, re lots of reviews. Um, that's something that I'm pretty big on and we just get tons of organic traffic from, from Google as well. So. Oh, excellent. Well, well yeah, we, uh, by the way, speaking of yellow pages, I actually, and it's a little bit further South than you, but at one time we took the, took an ad out on the front cover of the Portland, Oregon, um, phone book went up to, I forget how many people, it was a lot. And uh, all we got was phone calls for people trying to figure out how to get their phone service working and everything, anything about real estate <laughs> was fine when we went on a listing appointment um, to to show them that we were on the front cover. That sent, got us some listings because we, we were advertising, but it, it was, Yellow Page was not a good good investment back in the day. So um, yeah. now you you've uh, you recently um, 2019 I think you were diagnosed with kidney failure and you had a successful transplant in 2021. How did how did that impact your business? Obviously you've um, you know been an icon I think even maybe a little bit through that time frame. Um, so how how has um, how how were you able to navigate that? 
Yeah, you know that that's that's a great question, Clint. And um, you know, luckily, I mean, I've I've had some some great coaching and mentorship throughout my business, and uh, my business is pretty much uh, system and process driven. So you know, it doesn't just revolve around me, right? As far as if if I if I don't show up, you know, the business is still conducted with my team members, my my staff members, my ISAs and everything. And so that was that was really a big key to all of that, where um, I had to take the the back seat um, to to a lot of things and just kind of focus on my health, uh, my family during that time, and and. You know this great setup we have here at EXP also contribute to that as well. Um, so that's that's really how I got through through that time time period was just those systems and processes and having obviously a great support team around me both in the office and then out of the office as well because um, I've never had any major type of health issue in my life right. So I've I don't drink I don't do do anything else um, very active lifestyle that me and my wife have as far as working out exercising. So, you know, when I was diagnosed with, it's called IgA neurthropathy, it's an autoimmune disease, uh, which that doesn't have any cure or anything, you know, obviously it kind of blindsided us. It really just, it, it, you know, you know, here, here I am, I've, I've, I've created a pretty great life. I've have a couple young children with my wife and you know, this really uh, took us by surprise. And it's kind of like, you know, you do everything right sometimes and life will, will throw you for a loop. And that's what it did. But uh, by the grace of God and my support staff and also one of my best best friends, Brandon Stevens, who's also an agent with us here at EXP Realty, uh, he was my donor. And, you know, I'm thankful to be healthy here today. So. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. That, well, one you great that you got uh, got that and and then it's pretty pretty uh, surreal to think that you know it's a fellow agent that you ended up getting your kidney from as well yeah it's a it's it's a pretty surreal experience for me glenn um it it, it has changed my obviously my my outlook on life and just perspective on a lot of things because you know, us as entrepreneurs, we we're we're very locked in people. We're very focused. We're very self motivated, very driven in individuals. But um, it's I got a lot of good lessons out of it. You know, on 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 balance and pro- making sure the right things are are the right priorities. So right, yeah, it's oh, you, it's been, been now how does um yeah I mean I, I really uh, if you what what was your what shifts did you make? I mean, obviously you, I think we're, you joined EXP, what, 2018 or something like that? Yeah. 2018 is, is when I, when I joined EXP. Okay. Um, um, so how, how has your perspective sort of changed sort of before and after that? Yeah. I mean, really, really it's the, it's the long-term perspective. It's the big perspective of, you know, if something was, was to happen to me, right. Do I have, do I have all my priorities in order, right? For, for my family, mm-hmm. um, making sure that, you know, they're, they're, they're well taken, taken care of if something was to happen to me. It's also a very high priority for me to just be more spontaneous, right? And not so rigid because there'd be times where maybe I want to take that trip here and there. Or I want to do this thing, but just really just being present and really just enjoying the spontaneous things that life has to offer. Um, I think sometimes we can kind of lose focus of that. And then also just being grateful every day. Like if you, if you right. wake up and you're, you're healthy and you're able to have your family there and they're healthy and you're able to pursue your dreams, like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's going on in the world and we all need to take just a moment out a day and just, just be grateful, just be grateful for what you have. I mean, obviously we're all trying to pursue and get more things or pursue more goals, but, but don't 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 stop being grateful for what you have because i mean i lost my health and without your health you really don't have much i'll tell you that right yep oh, for sure so now um your first brokerage was was it keller williams was that your first first brokerage 
No, my first brokerage when I got into the business was, uh, you've probably heard of it, uh, Exit Realty. So that was my very okay. first bro brokerage when I got into the business. Um, they were they were the ones that teaching me about, uh, you know, just the, the fundamentals of the business. Okay, awesome. But, and then you went to KW and then and then ultimately made the move to EXP. Um, what, what was it that influenced you to switch um, when you did? I mean, 2018, obviously quite a bit smaller. Washington State, we were definitely quite a bit smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we were, we were still small. I mean, uh, here in Washington State, as you know, you live here, uh, a lot of people still, <laughs> still didn't really hear of EXP or uh, they, you know, they'd always be like, what's that? <laughs> um, right. But uh, it was one of my previous coaches that that reached out to me, um, Cliff Freeman, who you who you know, Cliff. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I've, I've I've been coaching since around 2012, so that's a, another big proponent proponent to my business today. Still, I have a coach, um, and he reached out to me and he talked to me about um, about the opportunity and everything back in 2017, um, and you know, and. My thing was really the the model. I mean, it solved a lot of problems, especially for team owners. You know, you you train up, you train you train up team members. You you pour into a lot of people, and then eventually they're going to want to go on their own, and and they'll be your competition. You know, so it's kind of that revolving door. Um, also, looking um, at the model was like how how can I make the best decision, not just for myself, but for my team members, right? Is this decision going to make a positive impact on their lives, right? From all aspects, from the training that we get to the to the platform that we get, and then also, you know, the the ownership that that they'll be able to to have to other streams of income. So it's really looking at the whole and seeing if it was going to put it in a put us all in a better place, which um, it did. We 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 were the first ones here in Olympia to to move to EXP Realty and uh, a lot of, a lot of people, they, they didn't know what it was about. And I think down here in Olympia now, I think we have over 200 or so agents. So it's, it's grown quite a bit. Oh, awesome. It's, uh, we're, we're, we're becoming a known quantity. <laughs> yes. Well, well, good stuff. So um, now you, you, you mentioned doing a lot of PPC, Facebook, uh, Google, um, You've got your Google for Business pages and th those types of things, um, and then obviously your your outbound um, lead gen. What what are you what are you doing to manage all of your lead gen? Yeah, to to manage the lead gen, um, I I do have a a VA that helps me manage that. So that's how we kind of keep keep uh, you know just the pipeline in order. Um, the main CRM that we use that we put everybody in is Boomtown. I've been using Boomtown since 2012, um, which obviously uh, KB Core's parent company bought Boomtown. So that's kind of interesting, mm -hmm. right? Right. Um, and uh, so that's kind of how we organize and we track and we uh, and we rank our, our leads um, in, in our database. Okay, awesome. Um, and uh, okay, well, now, if you could give one piece of advice to an EXP agent, what would what would that be? I mean, right now in this market, I would say for any agent, and this is at any production level, like you need a good mentor or coach. You need somebody that can help you get clarity of what your quarterly plan is, what your daily plan is, what your monthly plan is, what's your annual plan. Um, I think a lot of agents, if they had more clarity um, of, of what their plan plan was, what their strategy was, um, they, they would be able to collapse time a lot quicker. Right. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, for sure. I, uh, I was speaking at an event last week and a question came up, you know, for new agents. And it was, you know, make sure you get a mentor or, or get on a uh, get on a team. Um, and, but get around people who are doing a lot of production um, as quickly as you can because uh, production breeds production. So, you know, being around people who can help you truly understand what you need to do and 
help you not do the stuff that can be time wasters so that you can be, you know, uber productive, super important. So uh, love that. So now, Joe, you, um, you know, obviously you, you built a built a great business. You've been, uh, I think you've got a, uh, what's your, what's your team look like? How does, how's your team structured? Sure. Sure. That's a, that's actually a great question. Um, our team's pretty small. Like uh, I just looked at the the rankings. I check those from time to time. I don't check them that often. Uh, but right now we're for Washington state, we're number three, as far as team production. Um, we only have six agents on my team. Um, so I have six agents myself as the team leader. Um, I have a couple ISAs. Um, then I have my admin who works in my office, who's on my staff that helps with all of our backend TC work, uh, transactions, all of that. Um, so that's, that's how we're set up. I mean, our, our day to day is every, every nine 30 in the morning, we, we have a, a team huddle. It's about 15 to 30 minutes every morning. Um, and then once a week we have, uh, our, our sales training, uh, that's every Thursday at one 30, uh, where agents have to, you know, let us know what's going on with their, with their pipeline of leads. Uh, so everybody can stay accountable. And then on Mondays we do our weekly training at noon. So that's kind of our team set up and then kind of our, right. Our weekly, our weekly rhythm, um, as kind of how we operate as a team. Oh, excellent. Well, great stuff. Um, you know, obviously some, some great clues here today. Um, you know, and, and, um, you know, it's, uh, sounds like uh, a lot of, a lot of, uh, success that you've uh, built and you've figured out how to bring the right people in and, and get support. One, one last question. You mentioned you have a VA. Is that, uh, is your VA, um, where's your VA located? Are they onshore, <laughs> offshore? Oh, uh, that's actually a good question. He's actually originally from uh, Canada. So he's an expat from Vancouver. Um, okay. And he lives in, he lives in Argentina currently right now. So, uh, He's really uh, he's really enjoying the life down there in Argentina. He uh, tells me about it all the time about all <laughs> all the all the great steaks. And if you've been to Argentina, you probably know about the steaks and the wine they have down there and how cheap it is compared to uh, where we are up here in the states. Yeah, for for sure. I, I've never been there, but uh, obviously they got that's where I think Malbec is from. So definitely yep. definitely heard of my had had some great Malbecs over the years. Um, uh, but same general time zone, so that probably makes it really easy as opposed to maybe working with someone like in the Philippines or, or what have you. Yeah, yeah, same same general time zone. Uh, he's a he's a little bit ahead of us, but um, he works he works our hours and he's right there on our our morning huddles and everything. So um, you know he's he's been with me for five years, so so quite a, quite a while. Um, so he's a, he's a big big part of our team. Cool. So what's, uh, what's the, like, what's your bigger vision goals? Like what's your, you know, obviously you've got, you've got this change in perspective, but I'm sure you also have your business goals in front of you. What's, mm -hmm. uh, what are you planning for 2024? You know, 2024 uh, for, for me, Glenn, is going to be a, a big year, a big year uh, to, to grow, grow the team just because I feel like I have a lot I have a lot to, to offer. Um, our, our lead gen model is pretty scalable. Um, my coaching and training, you know, I, I do my coaching and training, you know, weekly. And then also we have quarterly events as well. We have boot camps that, that I host as well. And I just feel in this market, um, we're going to be able to maybe, maybe double what we're going to probably close the year out with as far as volume, just because there's a lot of opportunity in this market. And that's what I was talking with my team about this morning on our huddle. Uh, and you know, you've probably done the exercise, right? The SWAT, right? What are your strengths? Yep. Strengths, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. My yeah. favorite exercise. Yeah. So we were doing that this morning and just go, going over that. Um, but yeah, it's really to, to, to double our market share in this market and, and to, you know, just, just help a lot of agents that are out there right now. Cause there's a lot of good agents I feel out here in this market, but obviously they're, they, they've been kind of thrown for a loop and, and, and a lot of them need, need some guidance and, and mentorship and they just need the right opportunities and training and they can crush it in this market or any market. Well, good stuff. 
Well, Joe, thanks. Thanks again for being on the podcast. Um, I know you're on Facebook, Instagram, Yep. Um, obviously in the workplace. Um, so, uh, but uh, uh, thanks again. And uh, thanks everyone for listening to uh, this podcast as well. Um, I learned some things. Hopefully you did it too. So thanks everyone. Chat soon. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Glenn. I appreciate it.